Hello, it's Kylie from Paint and Wing. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint a kingfisher of watercolors. For this painting, I'm going to be using five different colors of paint. Payne's Gray, Mayan Blue Genuine, Cobalt Turquoise, Burnt Sienna, and Burnt Umber. As for brushes, I'll be using three main brushes, a 5 over 0, a number 3, and a number 10 round brush. I'm going to begin this painting by applying a light layer of gray. This light layer of gray will act as the shadows on the kingfisher. Now using my smallest brush, I'm going to outline the beak of the kingfisher with gray. After outlining the beak, I'm going to take a clean brush dipped in water only and then blend out the area. To increase the contrast, I'm going to add a little extra gray to the beak while it's still wet. Next, I'll be adding burnt sienna paint to the areas of the kingfisher that are orange. Here I am filling in the eye using a small round brush with Payne's Gray paint. Using the same small brush dipped in gray paint, I'm going to outline a few areas around the face. For this process, I am using a wet on dry technique. Here I am adding a mixture of the Mayan Blue Genuine and Cobalt Turquoise paints. If you do not have these colors, that's okay, just use something similar. Here I am adding a little paint gray around the edges to add contrast.
Here I'm sprinkling a little table salt for texture. Now using my number 3 round brush, I'm going to fill in the top of the head of the Kingfisher. Again, I'll be using the Mayan Blue Genuine Paint mixed with Cobalt Turquoise, and then for some of the darker spots, I'm going to mix in some Payne's Grey. Using my number 10 round brush, I'm going to apply burnt sienna paint to the body of the kingfisher. You will notice me add extra pigment to the areas where I want shadows to be. Here I'm going to add a splash of paint for interest. For some of the darker areas on the kingfisher's body, I'm going to mix in some burnt umber paint. Now I'm going to be moving on to the wings of the kingfisher. I'm going to start off by using a small brush with Payne's Gray paint and create an outline. This outline will help create a barrier between my next wash and the paint I already applied to the stomach.
Here I'm going to create some feathers with just a few brush strokes using my number 3 round brush dipped in Payne's Gray. Now to fill in the wings, I'm going to create a wash using the Mayan Blue Genuine Paint and the Cobalt Turquoise. Here I'm using a few brush strokes to create the tail feathers. Lastly, I'm going to sprinkle some table salt to create some texture. Here I'm adding a little bit extra of Mayan blue paint. For this painting, I'm really pushing the contrast between the two colors of orange and blue, but also the lights and darks. A few extra details and I am completed with this piece. For those subscribed to my Patreon, I will have drawing templates available for this piece later this week. Thank you for watching.